the Airbus A320neo versus the Boeing 737 MAX, two revamped versions of both companies' most popular aircraft are fighting things out in this epic comparison. But before we do, let's remind ourselves of how one of the largest rivalries, the Neo vs the Max, started more than 10 years ago. In 2006, Bombardier took up an ambitious goal to break into the single out market with their C-Series. While slightly smaller than Airbus's or Boeing's competing aircraft, with its newer technology such as its composite fuselage and most importantly, new next generation engines, it was 15% more efficient than the competition. Airlines turned to Airbus and Boeing for a competing product. At the time, Airbus was working on incremental upgrades and improvements on its A320 to obtain a 5% efficiency gain. Their argument was that even with the C-Series' 15% reduction in fuel burn, with the A320's reliability, proven maintenance, pilot and operational costs, the A320 would still have a total direct operating cost on par with the brand new C-Series. Ironically, initially intended to compete, the C-Series would eventually be acquired by Airbus and be rebranded to become the A220. Boeing, on the other hand, was selling the 737 next generation in huge numbers and wasn't at all in any hurry to launch a competing product. However, with the 737 nearing 50 years of age, Boeing started slow-paced studies of its 737 replacement. In 2008, Airbus conducted flight testing of Pratt & Whitney's new geared turbofan engine on an A340 and realized the fuel-saving benefits this brand new engine with its latest technologies brought. Installing the new engines would improve fuel burn and make Airbus's offering more competitive. But at the same time, developing an all-new aircraft would prove hugely expensive with high risk. At the end of 2010, following Frontier's Airlines' order of 40 C-Series airplanes from Bombardier, Airbus finally defined their counter-response with the formal launch of the A320neo. The A320neo concept was in itself a groundbreaking one. It was the first direct re-engine of an existing aircraft type the world has ever seen. With the NEO on track to becoming the best-selling aircraft of all time, all eyes were on Boeing to launch their counter-response. Initially, Boeing was skeptical of the Airbus NEO, stating that their 737NG was still 9% more efficient even after the NEO. Their plan was to launch an all-new breakthrough aircraft that would be more efficient than the A320NEO for entry into service by 2020, stating no one would want a re-engined aircraft. However, the launch of this rumoured new small airplane was continuously pushed back with no firm timeline for this new aircraft type. Eventually, airlines could wait no longer. After American Airlines, previously an all-Boeing operator, ordered 260 Airbus aircraft, 130 of which was the A320neo, and announced their intention to order re-engined 737 aircraft, Boeing found itself in a difficult spot of rushing their 737 re-engine to the market. They named it the 737 MAX, the fourth iteration of the 737 series. And so, here's the interesting birth of two re-engined aircraft, fighting it out in the largest and lucrative single out market. But which is a better re-engine? In today's comparison, we'll be comparing the two most popular variants of both aircraft families, the 737 MAX 8 and A320-200neo. But before we do, a quick reminder if you haven't already done so, to check out the Airplane Productions Instagram page, the new and future home for all future aviation news updates. A link will be in the description below, so do check it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, a warm welcome and stay tuned for more great detailed aviation analysis and epic comparisons on the way. Right. Cue the music and let's kickstart this epic comparison. Starting with performance, both aircraft feature a boost in performance compared to their predecessors, either carrying more payloads or flying further. On paper, with a maximum seating for 200 passengers compared to 195 for the A320neo, the 737 MAX 8 has higher performances. 
With more typical seating configuration, the MAX-8 flies 3,550 nautical miles, while the A320neo fly 50 nautical miles short at 3,500. All in all, the smaller variants of both aircraft families have similar performances, with the MAX having a slight edge over the Neo. Moving on to engines, the biggest change to both aircraft types compared to their predecessors. The A320neo has an edge over Boeing when it comes to power plant efficiency thanks to its higher ground clearance allowing for a larger fan diameter of up to 81 inches. Furthermore, airlines have two choices of engines, either the Pratt & Whitney geared turbofan or the CFM Leap 1A engine. The CFM Leap 1A powering A320neo measures 78 inches in fan diameter. However, CFM had to shrink this engine in order to allow it to be installed on the 737 MAX. The CFM Leap 1B variant, the only engine choice powering 737 MAX, features much of the same technologies like higher pressure and bypass ratios but has to make do with a smaller fan diameter, reducing the efficiency of the engine. It is worth noting though that while a smaller engine is less efficient, it does add less weight and drag to the V-engine. Still, the difference in efficiency at power plant levels can clearly be seen when comparing apples to apples. Speaking of efficiency, both airplanes deliver similar costs per seat and cost per trip. In typical configurations, the previous generations of both aircraft burn virtually identical amounts of fuel per trip but the 12 additional seats on the 737-800 compared to A320-200 gives it an 8% fuel burn advantage per seat overall. However, when Airbus moved over to a NEO, they were able to close the gap and reduce fuel burn by 15% compared to CO aircraft. Boeing on the other hand only extracted a 14% fuel burn reduction when they moved from the 737-NG to the 737 MAX, though per seat, their MAX-8 does burn 7% less fuel than the competing A320neo in a typical configuration. All in all, both aircraft achieve fuel burn improvements of brand new aircraft while maintaining the highest commonality and lowest rates possible. Moving on to cabins, here is where there's one clear winner. The A320neo features the airspace cabin from A350, while the 737 MAX the Boeing Sky Interior from 787. All in all, the A320neo has the better cabin, with larger overhead bins, a quieter cabin, and more customization options with a better cabin layout. Thanks to the A320's wider fuselage by 7 inches, the A320neo features wider 18-inch seats and an aisle that's 1 inch wider than 737 MAX. The MAX accommodates more passengers in its longer fuselage, but it cramps them into 17-inch wide seats. The A320neo also features larger galleys and larger lavatories in any configuration. Both feature new mood lighting, sculpted cabin sidewalls, and curved overhead bins for a spacious view. But the A320neo also features welcome lighting that can be tailored to each airline's trademark. Both are also available with Wi-Fi and in-flight entertainment, though the system on the A320neo family is slightly more advanced. All in all, the Max's sky interior is a nice upgrade but simply doesn't match the A320neo's airspace cabin, which sets the standard in the single out category. Moving on to the pluses and negatives. The A320neo and 737 MAX both share one big plus, and that is commonality with the previous generation variants. As an example, pilots can seamlessly transition between the new variants and older variants thanks to the same type ratings the new aircraft share with their predecessors. Airframe parts are common, meaning that maintenance costs are mostly proven, with the only big changes coming in the form of the engine parts. However, they do share one downside. As they are re-engined aircraft, not all fuel savings brought about by the new engines are extracted, 
As an example, the new generation of engines on A320 NEO actually brings 16% reduction in fuel burn, but 1-2% is lost when installed on the A320 airframe, which wasn't optimized from the beginning for such engines to be installed, resulting in higher drag cost. However, as the MAX has smaller engines, while some efficiency is lost at power plant level, it does allow for the more optimized airframe engine combination. The MAX also features more aerodynamic cleanup compared to the NEO, and features new large cockpit displays from the 787. However, the aircraft is based on an older design. Hence, with its limited ground clearance, less fuel-saving benefits are extracted from re-engineering alone. Also, the MAX family isn't as versatile as the NEO family, with the largest A321 NEO being an extremely flexible module, now flying longer and longer ranges. Airbus has done a fantastic job bringing new levels of efficiency while keeping and maintaining the true concept of commonality. However, the middle variant, the A320 NEO itself, is actually a less efficient and capable aircraft overall when compared head-to-head -head with the 737 MAX 8, which shows the true potential that the 737 platform still has even against its newest competitor. In terms of orders, the A320 NEO clearly outsells the MAX by 50%, with 60% market share compared to 40% for the 737 MAX. While that does include the larger A321 NEO variants, which is primarily targeted at the middle of the market, even when comparing these two variants alone, all the numbers for Airbus's A320 NEO are at 3,963, while Boeing's MAX 8 has received 3,221 orders, resembling the 60-40 split Airbus intended to maintain. There are, however, long waiting times due to the huge backlog for both, not least as Airbus is facing production bottlenecks on its A321neo, while Boeing has temporarily ceased production of its MAX airplanes. So then, which of these re-engined aircraft is better? Well, they are both great products, driving the aviation industry to a more sustainable one and lowering costs for airlines, in turn allowing more passengers to fly for less. The 737 MAX is the most optimized 737 variant yet, and the MAX 8 doesn't show its age with higher performance than the competing A320neo and lower cost per seat. However, the NEO has a larger, more comfortable cabin, higher reliability and a lower list price. It also shares more airframe parts with its predecessor, lowering the maintenance costs. Furthermore, with its higher ground clearance, the a 3 neo has higher levels of efficiency at power plant level. It is also a more advanced aircraft with a more modern airframe. All in all, both aircraft are great re-engined aircraft, and if there is any evidence, it is the huge endorsements from the airlines that are buying them. Do you agree that both re-engined aircraft are equally as good and if you don't, why so? Comment below. Thanks for watching to the end of yet another epic comparison and till we meet in the next one, wishing you, as well as everyone, a truly clear sky ahead.